Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Here I'm starting with watches. Not sure exactly where it will go, naturally, but I'm eager to share my thoughts nonetheless. So, Casio, the affordable watch. It's probably the first proper watchmaker you think of under £50 or £100, especially if it's not a mechanical watch, because then I'd be thinking of probably an Orient or a Seiko. Before we venture further into this review, let's talk specs. Hopefully this gives you some context throughout the video so you can understand the watch more easily. The specific reference for this black one is the MRW-200H-1BVES. The diameter is 42mm with a thickness of 12mm and a lug to lug of 46mm. For reference, my wrist is 16.5cm or 6.49 inches. The water resistance on this watch is 100 meters, however I'm not sure if I trust it 100% because it doesn't have a screw down crown. It does have crown guards though which do help with durability. The strap is odd to mount to the case and is 20mm. The material for the case is resin and the glass is called resin glass. The bezel is bi-directional and complications can include day and date. The movement is a quartz movement plus minus 20 seconds a month, or plus minus 0.6 or 6 tenths a day. The battery life is roughly three years. So, why did I get this watch? I used to own a G-Shock, a digital one, but I can't remember the exact reference as I got it as a gift in 2012. The best part was I didn't have to worry about it. The water resistance was excellent and I could wash my hands without worrying about water getting into the case. But to be honest, it was huge, and it was bulky on my wrist, hence I wore it less and less until eventually selling it to my brother a couple of years later, because the strap broke. When I read the kit list for my DOV expedition, five years later, I was out without a suitable watch. Initially, like most, I thought of a G-Shock, but I didn't want a used one, and the cheapest new one was probably about £100, maybe the infamous Casio. But that was a lot, and I didn't have it. I hate to say it, but I thought it had to be disposable. I thought DOV would be much more demanding on my watch than it actually was. It needed to have a minimum of 100 meters water resistance and easy to read at a glance, so analog. G-Shock light, if you will. After not that long and researching a bit, digging around, I found it for $14.99 with free postage. It fit the bill so well. I got it and loved the small details immediately and was so chuffed with the quality and build. Even the quartz tick made me smile, reminding me of watches I used to have as a kid. I took it and it was an excellent tool watch, perfect for that week, no complaints. Even when I got back from the Peak District, I loved the low key, casual appearance. The legibility was excellent and it was so understated. An F91W type watch, but analog. So, what do I like? Well first, the thing I like the most is the dial. I wouldn't say it's an inky black, but I definitely say it's a deep black. Only in direct sunlight does it go kind of a grey. The numerals are excellent, the legibility is excellent, the, the hands, the day date, the bezel's nice, it's got a um, smaller indices from the 12 o'clock to the 3 o'clock, the weight, the price. The fit is really good as well. For a 42mm, because of its kind of integrated bracelet, I guess, or integrated strap, it wears quite well, I think, on my wrist, and I don't feel like it's, you know, a dinner plate on my wrist. The things, I guess the only two things I can complain about, and I don't think I'm, you know, entitled, I don't think I, I can complain about it at this price, but the, um, the bezel, uh, the bi-directional is great, don't have a problem with it. I wish it clicked, because then if I knocked accidentally, I'd know that I'd hit it, and maybe screw down crown. You know, it's, it's not really a bugbear, it's a small thing, a little thing. Don't know if I can even ask for it because, you know, it's £15. I can't really ask for much more than that. But, yeah, overall I love it. You know, for, for £15, for under £15, I don't think you can really ask for more. I think you'd be hard fight pressed to find a better watch or, or a watch that can do the same for the, for, for the same price. Casio has remained a brand that still offers great quality, useful and characterful pieces, I think, for a, for a low price. The watch of the people, if you will. 
The way my parents talk about a calculator watch or the F91W, I suppose I will have with this. I don't see this leaving. I had reasonable expectations for what I paid and it surpassed them. I'm aware of other brands and models which might fit the bill, but these would be additions to a collection and not replace this one. The MRW-200H is an excellent everyday watch or field watch, one which, like anything, could be improved, but one that I find difficult to fault. Let me know what you think down below. Thanks guys, talk soon.